Hello friends, welcome to my channel JM Learning. Today we are going to learn the DC machine construction. The DC machine is a very important machine that is used in electrical engineering. Before we study the construction, let us first know what is a DC machine. A DC machine is a rotating device that converts an electrical power into mechanical power. That is means it is doing a motoring action or it is being called as a motor or it can convert a mechanical power into electrical power that is a generating action. In that case it will be called as a generator. This figure shows a demonstration of a DC motor. Now let us see the basic construction of a DC machine. The most outer part of the DC machine is a frame. The frame is also known as an enclosure. The main aim of providing the frame or enclosure is to protect all the parts of DC machine from the outward ingress of fine solid particles and the moisture or water molecules because they are going to affect the performance of DC machines. The frame is being supported at both ends by the end brackets. The end bracket will be congesting the bearings. The bearings will be supporting the shaft. The shaft will be carrying a rotating part which is called as rotor or a armature in most case of DC machines. The armature at one of ends will be carrying a commutator bars or a commutator. The commutator at its top ends will be having a brush assembly. Now let us know the basic details of each part along with the stator. The inside part immediately with the frame is the stator. A stator is a stationary part that does not rotate. Let us see the construction of the stator or the field poles. So this Diagram shows the construction of the field poles. The field poles will have two parts. One of the part is known as the field pole which is made from the laminated steel core stampings. The stampings are being made from a very thin sheets in order to reduce the eddy current loss because when there is an alternating magnetic fields that is being developed as the machine is a rotating type. The eddy current will be induced in the field poles, so they must be minimized in order to do that. A laminated field structure is used. Now this field structure of laminated nature at center will have a hole provided. That hole will carry a field pole bolt. The bolt is going to fix the field poles to the outer part which we are knowing as frame. Inside it will be called as a yoke. This inside part yoke is going to provide a closed path for the magnetic flux which is being produced by the field poles. Now to produce the magnetic poles, the field pole must have a winding over it. So the windings being called as the field coil. The size and number of tons of this field coil will depend upon how much amount of field flux we have to produce inside this stator that has to be crossed by the armature depending upon that the field coil copper winding diameter and its number of tons are being decided. So main function of the field pole is to produce the requisite magnetic flux required to operate the DC machines either to induce the EMF in the armature or to rotate the armature depending upon whether it is generating or it is in motoring actions. So the yoke will be made for mostly the cast iron which will providing the two functions. It is providing mechanical protection along with it is providing a closed path for flow of the magnetic field flux produced by the field coils. Now let us see the construction of the rotating part which we call normally as armature in case of DC machines. The armature at its center will be having a shaft. The shaft is being supported at both ends the bearings so that we should have a very smooth rotating movement of the shaft and to reduce the friction losses. The sh shaft will be housing the main part what we are calling as the armature. The armature will be armature stack. Inside it you can observe here the 
coils which are forming the windings there are number of field coil depending upon the design of machines the field coils terminals are being connected to a part which is known as the commutator this commutator will be consisting a number of bars which we can observe all the strips all these strips as you can observe here are made from the copper each of these strips will be insulated from nearby strips with the help of mica so whatever this dark or black you image you can see is being made from the mica the mica is so cut that it will easily pass the brushes which are being mounted over this commutator segments the commutator segments are electrically connected to the field coils the armature coils which are housed in the slots provided on it so these armature stack whatever we are shown here are being made from the laminations here again you can see that the laminations are being made in the circular form the circular form lamination are divided in a number of slots as per our design requirements so each slots will be carrying the windings that is made from the copper and finally the winding or field coil the armature coils here they are being connected externally to the commutator segments here again the purpose of providing the laminations in a very thin sheets is to reduce the eddy current loss which is going to take place inside the armature when it rotates there will be alternating current that is flowing through the armature laminations if they are thin then they will offer high resistance that will reduce the eddy current thereby eddy current loss is being reduced now these commutator segments where the armature coils whatever they are carrying current or being induced ema is being brought on this commutator so this commutator must be provided with certain things that will collect these currents from commutator and for that we have to use the brush assembly so let us see the brush holder assembly which is mounted on commutator if there is a four pole dc machine then there will be four brush holder assembly the brush holder assembly will be consisting of the component which we can see in this figure you can easily observe that this part is known as the brush which is made from the carbon carbon has the property that its wearing resistance is small as compared to the copper as the commutator segments are being made from copper so the brush will first wear out instead of commutator segments now when the brushes are being put on the commutator segments externally they must be supported by sufficient mechanical force so that function is done by the springs the springs are being supported by a brush holder the assembly of brush holder totally is shown in this last diagram the brush holder assembly will consist of the springs the springs will provide the sufficient pressure to the carbon brushes so that they can rest on the commutator and without any too much rubbish action they will able to collect the current or pass the current to the armature depending upon whether the dc machine is operating as the motoring or generator at the same time we can change the position of the brush holder totally by help of this lever which is connected to insidely to the yoke arrangement so that we can locate the proper axis of the brush one thing that has to be remember that the brushes whatever they are two or four depending upon number of pole must be located in the magnetic neutral axis so that when brushes collect the current there should not be any kind of the sparking so it because that is going to produce the armature reaction that harms the performance of the dc machines with this i am sure that you got the basic idea about construction of dc machines so thanks for watching this video do like and share it